A UN report calls for legalization of adults having sex with kids, calling it, quote, progressive autonomy. An organization linked to the United Nations, the UN, is advocating for all types of drug use and sexual activity to be decriminalized, including having sex with minors. This is diabolical. This is demonic. Actually, the Lord even said the UN is not his. It's not a God organization. It looks like it is, but it's not. It's corrupt. It's full of wickedness, full of unrighteousness. And so not surprising that an organization linked to the UN is now advocating for drug use, sexual activity to be decriminalized. Yeah, why not decriminalize prostitution, decriminalize all drugs, decriminalizing having sex with minors, totally normal in a crazy, wicked world. In its report to the UN titled Eight March Principles, the International Committee of Jurists gave an outline for a, quote, human rights-based approach to criminal law prescribing conduct associated with sex, reproduction, drug use, HIV, homelessness, and poverty. The group wants, quote, a new set of expert jurist legal principles to guide the application of international human rights law to criminal law, according to UN AIDS. Okay, so this is not surprising. They always want to decriminalizing having sex with children. Before I continue reading the rest of this article, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class for 2023. Real estate, crypto, stocks, and bonds, gold outperformed them all in 2022. So what are you waiting for? Noble Gold Investments has helped thousands of clients buy real physical gold. Open a gold IRA or a silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Eagle coin with every qualifying purchase. Find out more at noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. The shocking details were only recently discovered deep inside the report that has been released. It's, it was deep inside the report. You had to dig to find this out that had been released on International Women's Day in March. How demonic. So while everyone is celebrating Women's Day, they <laughs> released this report. You had to dig to discover what it actually said in there. The 32 page report calls for all types of offenses to be decriminalized, claiming that keeping these moral issues as crimes is an attack on human rights. How demonic. It's an attack on human rights to say that it's illegal to have sex with children. It's an attack on human. Forget about the, the rights of the children. Forget about the rights of the babies that are being aborted and killed. Forget about those rights. Shh. But the rights of the humans, the adults that want to do all the wickedness and the evil on your children and international children that they have sex trafficked. It should be decriminalized. You see, this is the mindset of the devil to kill, steal, and destroy and to deceive right? Isaiah 5, I think it's Isaiah 5 20 that says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Saying that it's okay. It's a human right. Nothing wrong with having sex with children, even without their consent. Criminal law is among the harshest of tools at the disposal of the state to exert control over individuals. As such, it ought to be a measure of last resort. However, globally, there has been a growing trend toward over criminalization. No, it's called justice. It's called it's illegal to rape children and babies. It should be criminalized. It's not over criminalized. It should be criminalized. That's what the policy director at ICJ said in the press release. Quote, we must acknowledge that these laws not only violate human rights, but the fundamental principles of criminal law themselves. Okay, you can tell yourself whatever you want. Okay, you are actually advocating for human torture, for human abuse, for child abuse. Among the many issues listed in the report, several media outlets and organizations noticed one line that claims minors can consent to sex with adults. 
Ooh, this just gets your blood boiling. Okay, on page 22, the report said, with respect to the enforcement of criminal law, any prescribed minimum age of consent to sex must be applied in a non-discriminatory manner. Enforcement may not be linked to the sex or gender of participants or age of consent to marriage. Okay, so they are saying that there should be no minimum age to consent for sex and no minimum age for consent to marriage. Yeah, you can marry six-year-olds, you can marry eight-year-olds, you can have sex with these six-year-olds, eight-year-olds. Sexual conduct involving persons below the domestically prescribed minimum age of consent to sex may be consensual. In fact, if not in law. In this context, the enforcement of criminal law should reflect the rights and capacity of persons under 18 years of age to make decisions about engaging in consensual sexual conduct and their right to be heard in matters concerning them. See, it's very, very tiny. You, you, you can miss it, right? Because they talk about these 18 year old to make decisions of consensual sex together. But if you really read closely, any prescribed minimum age of consent pursuant to their evolving capacities and progressive autonomy, right? This is all progressive autonomy. They could do whatever they want. These little minors can think for themselves. They have autonomy. If they want to have sex with an adult, they can, even if they're two. They have progressive sexual autonomy. Persons under 18 years old of age should participate in decisions affecting them. Okay, but where's the cutoff? Where's the limit? It says anyone under 18 years of age do regard to their age, maturity, and best interest, and with specific attention to non-discrimination guarantees. The ICJ also argued against any restrictions on LGBT and trans rights in several countries, stating, quote, no one may be held criminally liable for conduct or status based on their gender identity or gender expression. This includes gender identities and forms of gender expression, that are perceived not to conform to societal expectations or norms related to gender roles. The sex assigned to a person at birth or a male-female binary, among others. In addition, the ICJ says all laws forbidding sex work, also known as prostitution, should be changed. Critics say sex work often involves sex trafficking in which the victims are abused and deceived into believing they're performing work. Okay, so this is the problem with legalizing prostitution. In the natural realm, in human wisdom, and I've been there where I was studying philosophy, and I reasoned, listening to Socrates, listening to Aristotle, sex work is a person's right. They have every right to do whatever work they want, whatever skill they have, they're able to perform their duties and make money. Right? That, that was human wisdom. And as we know, God's wisdom is way different. God's ways are higher than our ways. God's ways are holy. Man's heart are wicked. So I used to have that mentality of, oh, prostitution should be legal. Why not? Until I found Jesus. Until I had a conversion. Until I got born again. Praise God. Now I see completely differently. Again, human wisdom can lead you down a very, very dark, dark path. And you can make excuses for the worst types of sin and think it's okay. When again, in God's kingdom, it's not. It's a sin. Prostitution is a sin. Adultery is a sin. Even looking at a woman with lust is a sin. So there's a high caliber of holiness and righteousness. And only by God's grace can we really live it out and walk that walk. So thank you, Jesus. But it's a very dangerous road to go on. Thinking that sex work is, hey, no big deal. It's just work. You're just performing work. The group also opposes all restrictions on abortion. Of course, of course they want you to sacrifice your babies. By the way, something I just found out as well, I didn't know this, Satanists actually find jobs in abortion clinics. I actually didn't know that. Makes total sense, did not know that. They actually get jobs, sacrifice babies as rituals to Baal and Moloch. Some of the doctors are demon possessed. Some of the doctors are Satanists. It's sick. And that makes total sense. I don't know why I didn't realize that before. I thought, well, they're just, you know, the blood is being sacrificed and there's no Satanists there. Oh, there are. 
There are actually a ton of them that work in abortion clinics. The group also opposes all restrictions on abortion, writing, quote, criminal law may not prescribe abortion. Abortion must be taken entirely out of the purview of criminal law. Sacrificing babies, killing babies should not be illegal. UN AIDS, the agency responsible for the world's body's AIDS response program, recently said in a blog on its website, continued overuse of criminal law by governments and in some cases arbitrary and discriminatory criminal law have led to a number of human rights violation. They also perpetuate stigma harmful gender stereotypes and discrimination based on such grounds as gender or sexual orientation. In a commentary published by the Western Journal, Peter Patrol, a writer for the outlet noted, if the United Nations is linked to a group trying to legalize sexual relationships with minors, as well as advance the trans agenda and abortion, it again raises the question to whether the United States should continue to be involved with the UN. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's what I was one of the things I was really hoping that President Trump was going to do, which was take us out of the UN. Like Brexit, a Mexit. We need an American exit from the UN. It's a wicked, wicked group of people. And we should not be under the authority or the guidance of wicked people pushing abortion pushing the transgender agenda, and also pushing legalizing sex with minors. This should be our quick get out of jail free card. This is a way of escape. America should say, wow, you wanna legalize sex with children? You wanna legalize pedophilia? We're out, peace, we're done, we're out, we're leaving. Patrol explains why the UN was founded to make sure the world would never see a devastating World War III. Right. I mean, that's really what the U.N. is all about. Seemingly, that's why they was created, to make sure there was no World War III. Instead, they're pushing the transgender agenda. Instead, they're pushing abortion. They're pushing pedophilia. Soon they're going to push bestiality. However, he wrote, while this early aim was admirable, since then, the United Nations has developed into advancing a leftist globalist agenda around the world. It has no regard for national sovereignty or the rule of law, either hu human or divine. Instead, it seeks to impose objective moral evils on the world. Spot on. Quote, if the United States wants to remain a shining beacon of freedom to the world, can it really remain a part of an organization that is open to imposing evils such as abortion? and pedophilia on the world. He added, this also reminds us of what conservatives have been saying for a while now, the left is obsessed with sexualizing children. It's all a demonic ruse to push an agenda, to push the most evil abominations on the human population. And it's only by the grace of God that we're not in their position. So we are praying for all of their souls. We're praying for America to be taken out of the UN. We pray for a righteous leader, a righteous president in America. Again, pray this all in Jesus' name. So leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on this report being released on Women's Day? Nonchalant clandestine so you and I don't see what the UN partners are actually proposing to the UN. What are your thoughts? Leave it down below and share this video with someone you think needs to know more about what's going on.